In this video, I'm going to be explaining Backrooms Level 74, aka Stage Fright. This is a very strange, very mind-altering and enigmatic level, and since you all seem to enjoy strange and mind-altering and enigmatic levels, you're probably going to like this one too. I hope. Thank you all so much for watching. Let's get into the video, shall we? The 74th level of the Backrooms is classified as a Class PSI, which is this logo, and if you know anything about this logo, every level with it is very unsafe and unsecure because of the mental hazards at play. This level is intrinsically very similar to level 444 that I've already gone over from the fandom, but there are several striking differences that you'll see later in the video. Both of them are theaters, but this one and that one are completely different. <laughs> the level does take the appearance of a large stage-like theater with seating up the side. There is a strange interconnected hallway system behind the stage and to the side of the stage as well, and I'll get into all of it in a second. There are exactly 22 rows of seating in this theater, and there are exit doors placed at each five row on each side of the aisle. And there are exit doors placed every five rows on each side of the aisles, which if you know math, there are eight total doors. The stage in the front is easily accessible, and it can be walked up to via two staircases on each side of it. The stage floor itself seems to have some kind of heating mechanism that keeps it warm, and alongside that, there are several trap doors lodged in the floor as well. Opening these trap doors will lead you to a strange interconnected hall of insulation. But again, more on that later. The hallways that are accessed behind stage or by those doors outside of the aisles resemble the theater in the overall vibe of them. They have tiled or hard carpeted flooring and stone or brick walls and they have a quiet atmosphere. Occasionally in the halls, you might run across a various popcorn machine or a movie poster on the wall, and these are just adding to the ambiance. The movies on these posters though are never from real life, and they're not recognizable from any brand or business. And there are other posters here that actually have various backrooms levels on them. Some of the levels being unknown and undocumented. The hallways are very, very expansive and will often lead to staircases or elevators or something like that and three-way intersections. But all of the hallways, no matter what, you can go up or down, left or right, they will always dead end inside of the theater at one of those doors. It's unknown as of writing this really how this happens, but it's believed that it's not because of non-Euclidean geometry. It's actually instead somehow the level making your subconscious choose the paths that loop back without you being aware of it. When you re-enter the theater, the seats will be full of humanoid shaped figures. The figures will, for the most part, be shadowy or unrecognizable, but some of them will share a strong resemblance to people from your real life, like a parent or a friend or a grandparent or someone you knew from Earth. The people will pay no attention to you or what you're doing or they won't even acknowledge you really, and they will just blankly stare at the stage in front of you. The stage itself will then become full of unrecognizable people in white masks. These masked figures will dance and move in these grotesque and unnatural ways, and they seem to recreate strange events like car crashes or fights or chase each other around and that kind of thing. The entire ordeal is just very uncanny and unnatural because there's no noise other than the noises they're making when they're running or talking, like it's just completely silent. The longer you watch this performance and stay in the theater, the worse the level becomes. Because approximately two hours after being here, all of those figures that were in the seats that you saw will disappear out of sight. They won't walk away, they'll just vanish. And the sounds coming from the performers on stage will begin to get louder and louder and more distorted and confusing. Soon after these noises will grow loud and disorienting, the performers themselves will disappear behind the curtain, and the curtain will then close, and you will be completely and utterly alone in this theater. For a few moments, there will be absolutely no noise, just the noise of your own breathing, empty theater, an empty stage, and those doors on the walls. But then, you'll start to develop a feeling that someone or something is watching you. Now, you won't be able to shake this feeling at all, and it'll just get worse 
and worse. Minutes will turn into hours, and you'll feel alone and trapped. You'll probably try to run for one of the doors to get out to the hallways, but you'll realize that the doors are locked, and that's when the noises start. The noises now are coming from behind those doors, scuffling and rustling and gargling and running and banging and knocking and things like this can be heard outside in the hallways. But you're not in the hallways, you're trapped inside the theater, in the middle of it all. These noises are believed to be some kind of entity that runs around the hallways searching for wanderers trapped inside, but this is unconfirmed. All we know is that there are some pretty freaking weird noises coming from outside the theater, inside the hallways. There's no way for you to see in the hallways because the windows are like blurry, you can't really see, but you might see a silhouette of something trying to look inside. If you're still in the level after all these noises start, for some stupid reason, then even more weird things will start to happen. You might witness an effect where the walls look to be closing in on you, or the seats in front of you start to expand and get wavy in infinite directions, like an ocean wave, or the sounds of those entities outside will get louder and louder. You might even see a dashing shadow or two in your peripheral vision while sitting down. The good news is, these are all thought to be complete hallucinations, and not actually real things happening to you, but we're not for sure, so don't, don't quote me on that. But this level seems to infect your brain due to the isolation that it gives you. And some people have actually spent months stuck inside this theater without even noticing. The level has definitely some weird time loop things. But let me know in the comments what you think is running around the hallways making all those noises. Is it real? Is it a hallucination? Let me know. To enter the level, you can only be on level 117, find a red door, open it up, and you'll end up in the hallway part of this level behind the stage. To exit, you have to go up to the stage and open a trap door and be taken down to a level called the insulation. But in order to escape the theater, you have to be there for approximately two hours. So you pretty much have to wait until all that weird stuff starts to happen and the dancers leave the stage to go up. If you open the trap door before the two hours, you'll simply see a small insulated room and not the insulation level. But after the two hours, you can jump down and you'll be completely in a new level, the insulation level. From there, you can escape to wherever you want. Nice. That's it for the video, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did make it this far, drop a like, I'd really appreciate it. That way the algorithm knows that you like the content and it wants to share it with other people. Also, while you're down there, drop a comment telling me how your day is going. I hope it's going great. I thank you and I appreciate you for all that you do. Even though this is like the third theater level I've gone over, I still think it's unique. I love levels that have effects like this. I think that's what the Backrooms is all about, this weird mind altering thing. Anyways, I will see you all tomorrow for another day of Brugmas. Thank you and goodbye.